I'm Dick Purinton of the Washington Island Ferry Line and a member of the Friends of Plum and Pilot Island. Located just a few hundred yards east of the Forward Range Light are the remains of Plum Island's original lighthouse. It was built in 1849. Records indicate it was occupied for only about 10 years until a more substantial light in a superior location was constructed on nearby Pilot Island. The original Death Store lighthouse built on Plum Island was constructed of mortared stone with a stone chimney. Today its wooden roof and floors are long since gone and only a pile of stones, former walls that measure roughly 19 by 30 feet, outline the old foundation. How do we know this rubble pile was the foundation that supported the first lighthouse of Death's Door? A photo from the Washington Island archives shows substantial high walls of laid stone, similar in shape and dimension to the rubble outline found there today. In a Wisconsin State Historical Society postcard, several visitors in the early 1900s stand atop those remnant stone walls, with a shipwreck noticeable in the background in Death's Door. It is believed that wreck was the resumption, with much of her hull intact. Imagine the nearby trees having been cleared around this building to provide greater visibility over Death's Door Passage the better to monitor vessel traffic, one of the lightkeeper's duties. If you turn from the old foundation and face the water, ignoring young trees that have grown up in recent years, you'll notice the sandy incline that leads to the beach. This apparently man-made slope served for moving a cart loaded with supplies from the beach to the dwelling, or at a convenient launch way for a small boat. In 2013, an archaeological team assigned by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service uncovered evidence of habitation when they examined this foundation. Artifacts found in successive digs indicate that a lightkeeper and his family might have occupied this site at one time. Among the artifacts found was a rusted metal child's toy. However, this early Death Door lighthouse, besides being poorly constructed, was situated midway through the passage. A ship's navigator could not readily see it until close abeam. That lack of good location, coupled with inferior masonry, caused it to be abandoned by 1858 when the newly completed Pilot Island Light became operational, a location nearer to the passage entrance. The necessity of lighthouses to mark important commercial shipping passages was recognized early on by the federal government. Here, witnessed in a pile of stones, was one such effort the remains of that original 1849 Plum Island lighthouse structure.